Welcome to Spruce Grove Alliance Church, your home. Jesus washing the disciples' feet. Do you think we should watch that? I sure do. Okay, let's watch the video. Hello, I'm Phineas, and I want to tell you about Jesus and how much he loved people. Just before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that the time had come to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his dear friends, he continued to love them right to the end. So Jesus got up from the supper table, set aside his robe, and put on an apron. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the feet of the disciples, drying them with his apron. Jesus came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? And Jesus said, You don't understand now what I'm doing, but you will understand later. But Peter said, You're not going to wash my feet ever. Jesus answered, If I don't wash your feet, you can't be part of what I'm doing. Master, said Peter, Not only my feet then, wa wash my hands, wash my head. <laughs> If you've had a bath in the morning, you only need your feet washed now, and you're clean from head to toe. My concern, you understand, is holiness, not hygiene. So now, you're clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his robe and sat down again. Do you understand what I have just done for you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you're right, because that is what I am. If I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you should also wash each other's feet. I did this as an example, so that you should do as I have done for you. If you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. And so, through this powerful event in the Bible, we can see that if Jesus was willing to wash people's feet, then surely we can find ways to serve others like Jesus did. Hey, Miss Carrie, I'm sorry for trying to take charge. That was a really good video about Jesus being a servant. Maybe, maybe you could do what's next. No, no, it's okay, Miss Debbie. I think that, I think it would have been better if I had just let you lead. Well, you probably are. Uh, you really did a very good late? job. Am I too late? Oh, well, we started already. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late, boys and girls, but I was at drive-in drop-ins, and I'm so excited. I got to hold a baby Q. 
kitten. I think it's one week old or two weeks old. And I also got to hold a baby bunny with loppy ears. Oh, they were so cute. They're, They're just so cute. fuzzy. And then Annabella showed me, she planted a garden and she's got, uh, I mean, the tree was beautiful. Uh, it start, it's a cherry tree and she planted uh, lettuce and beets and carrots. It was so fun to see. Anyway, what, what are you guys doing? Well, we, you weren't here and it was time to start and so we didn't know what to do and so Carrie and I were kind of arguing a little bit and Don reminded us that we need to love each other. Mm -hmm. And so we've apologized and I do love Miss Carrie. And, but we're so glad you're here now, so. That's awesome. Well, it reminds me of the verse I wanted to teach you because you know, God is working in us all the time to make us more like Jesus because we are basically born selfish, wanting our own way. And he is working in us. And I'm so glad you've learned, but I want to teach the memory verse that I taught my children. And I'm gonna do the actions and say the words, and then you guys do it, okay? And you guys at home, you can do it too. So stand up, it goes like this. I'm confident in this. I'm confident in this. That he who began. That he who began. A good work in you. A good work in you. Will carry it out. Will carry it out. To completion to completion until the day until the day of Jesus Christ of Jesus Christ Philippians Philippians 1 6 1 6 okay we're gonna do it faster now okay okay <laughs> here we go I'm confident in this I'm confident in this that he who began that he who began a good work in you a good work in you will carry it out will carry it out to completion to completion until the day until the day of Jesus Christ of Jesus Christ Philippians Philippians 1 6 1 6 awesome God is working in us all and hopefully we learn our lessons well to serve one another right now Miss Carrie I asked you to prepare some object lesson to teach us something I did okay would you girls want to bring it over here so boys and girls, I'm so excited. I'm getting ready for grade six grad. If you're in grade six, we have a Bible for you and we're gonna be meeting June 4th in the parking lot. But there is Sunday school today, so I'm very excited. We are having in-house Sunday school. Come on in, girls. Okay, boys and girls, so today we're learning about serving each other, but we watched a, a video about Jesus washing his disciples' feet. Who would have ever thought that Jesus, the King of Kings, would be washing dirty, smelly feet? I'm going to take this oil and pour a little bit on the plate. Oh, that's a lot of oil. And when oil gets on things, it's really difficult to clean. It gets smeared around, kind of like the disciples walking through the sand in their sandals. Their sand would have got smeared around on their feet and they'd be dusty and probably a little stinky. And you know, you wouldn't think that someone like Jesus would want to clean that up. You know, boys and girls, I have something here. Oh, I didn't bring the jug, but in this little jug, I have vinegar. It's clear and it kind of smells. And it's not the kind of thing you might think would be used to clean. Because, you know, you don't really want vinegar all over things either. But if I pour a little bit on the oil, let's see what happens. Smear it around a little more. And you can see that it's breaking up the oil a little bit. Wipe it up. Oh boy, I hope I brought enough paper towels, boys and girls. It's making quite a mess. Let's see how much we can get off here. You know what? I still have, it's still kind of oily and dirty. Let's see if this vinegar can do a good job. Try a little more. Pour it on. Boys and girls, vinegar 
is acidic acid. And acidic acid, the molecules in acidic acid work to break up the fatty molecules in the oil. And even though you look at it and you think it's something that you shouldn't be using for cleaning, and it sure shouldn't be able to clean up a mess like greasy oil, look at that. Boys and girls, we have a perfectly clean, shiny plate. Might even be cleaner than when I started, and there's no grease left on it at all. Boys and girls, I wasn't sure this was gonna work. That was a lot of oil and just a little bit of vinegar, but I cleaned it right up. And that was a surprising thing. Just like Jesus cleaning up his disciples' feet is a surprising thing. The, oil, the vinegar wasn't too smelly, it wasn't too clear, and it wasn't too little to clean up that great big oily mess. And Jesus didn't think he was too important and too special and too much of a king to bow down at the disciples' feet and clean up all their dirt and grime. And aren't you glad that Jesus was a servant and he wants us to be a servant too? Thank you, Miss Carrie. You know, this just reminded me of cleaning my windows. Have you ever used vinegar to clean your windows? Um, I have, but not for a long time. I've kind it's, of forgotten about it's that. It's really good. It cuts the grease. And it also reminded me of oil and vinegar on my salad. I did think of that a little bit. <laughs> That's really good to eat. So thank you for showing that, Miss Carrie. Okay. Let me help you take it away. Well, boys and girls, that reminded me of a song that I learned today called Servant of All. Jesus was the most important person that walked the earth, but he reduced himself to a servant of everyone. He was our servant and he wants us to live like him and to put others first. So I have a song. Would you do this song with me today called Servant of All? Thank you, Miss Debbie. That was beautiful. Jesus was the King of Kings, and yet he showed his disciples to humble themselves and to serve one another. And I remember Jesus saying, don't go to a birthday party or a banquet and sit at the head table in the most choice places, or the host might ask you to go sit at the kitty table. And so we need to put others first. And God, it says, will 
lift us up when we bow down and serve others. So I want to just encourage you this week to wash somebody's feet. Now this last week, I washed my daughter's feet. I got a basin with hot water and some soap. I washed her feet, I dried them, and then I used some lotion and I put it all over her feet and I rubbed it in and I just told her how much I love her. So that's one way you can serve others. And I bet your mom and dad would love you to rub their feet. That's one of my favorite things. So Jesus is very pleased when we serve one another. So I encourage you this week to serve one another. Thank you, Miss Debbie and Miss Carrie for helping us today and Dom, wherever he went. But uh, I hope you have a great week and I just wanna pray with you right now, okay? Lord, I thank you that you demonstrated to us obedience to the Father by dying on the cross. You also demonstrated to be a servant to those disciples that were following you. You were the teacher, you were the healer, and yet you bowed down and took on the form of a servant to wash their feet. Help us be humble, Lord. Help us not be judgmental or proud or rude, but help us have all the fruit of your spirit living in us this week and help us serve one another. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So thanks for the kids that uh, invited me to their house this week, and we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.